everyone, welcome to the Valley Buzz. I'm your host, Rebecca Duncan. In southeastern Vermont, you'll find the whimsical town of Putney, an area that's known for its vibrant arts and crafts community. This Thanksgiving weekend, we're here to celebrate the 39th annual Putney Craft Tour, a phenomenal three-day event that's the oldest continuous craft tour in the country. Been called the craft capital of the world. In fact, this small town in southeastern Vermont is home to one of the highest concentrations of award-winning and internationally recognized craftsmen in the country. The Putney Craft Tour offers a diverse group of 24 artists that share a passion for creativity. Their mediums range from painting, pottery, and glass to cheese, wine, and metalwork. During this open studio weekend, you'll have an opportunity to experience firsthand their craftsmanship and creative process. Plenty more to come on our day trip through Putney, so stick with us. There are five artists on the tour specializing in custom glasswork, so let's take you through a couple of those today. Edel Byrne is originally from Dublin, Ireland, and started working in the medium of glass in 1988. Edel developed a signature style called lace leadwork, which reflects a medieval style and incorporates a mix of lead and glass beads within her stained glass panels, mirrors, candle holders, and lanterns. As I make my way through the gallery, I'm just blown away by how one-of-a-kind and unique each piece is. The styles range from antique to modern, there's a mix of lead and glass beads, and the style called medieval expressionism just exudes from all of these pieces. I think you'll find that there are unique patterns, colors, styles, sizes, so much to choose from in this beautiful gallery. Um, I grew up in Ireland and I, you know, I kind of broke the rules in stained glass making by not sticking to traditional lines, but I feel I'm much more freedom creating um, with this style and um, it just opened up doors to do so many different things with candle holders, lanterns, panels, um, you know, custom work. I can incorporate a lot of different elements and fuse, you know, fuse pieces or collaborative work with other artists. Uh, it just opened up doors for me with making stained glass. So it has that kind of um, a Roth iron look to it, the lace work. And it just that reminds me when you go into some of those old medieval castles, it just has that 
kind of wrought iron rawness to it that I really like. So this is an example of my custom work. Um, I had a customer who saw a piece similar to this, but she absolutely loved the image of the sun. And um, so she purchased it for one window and then came to the studio, commissioned me to make um, my own rendition of a night sky. And this is a blown piece of glass um, done by a local artist, Robert Barsh. I mean, different ideas come from just an image like this, you know, do the sun, the night sky, and then you can go from, you know, flowers to hummingbirds. There's just so many different ways of doing glass, um, you know, with ideas and design. Another really exciting medium of glass to see in action is hand-blown glass. Three artists have opened up their studios on the Putney Craft Tour today. One of the featured artists is Robert Birch of Brandywine Glassworks, who has participated in the tour since it began in 1978. Robert Birch has been working in blown glass for over 30 years, and he maintains a broad production line of perfume bottles, paperweights, vases, and sculptural pieces. During the Putney Craft Tour, you'll get the opportunity to see a glass blowing demonstration, which is exquisite to see in person, and maybe even select a one of a kind piece. also find glass blown jewelry on the tour, such as the work of glass blower and lamp work jeweler Caitlin Birch. An award winning second generation glass blower, Caitlin Birch specializes in lamp work glass beads incorporated into striking sterling silver jewelry. Talk about the perfect one of a kind piece of jewelry for your loved one. The Craft Tour also features gorgeous hand-woven garments by artists like Dina Moses, who offers a colorful line of work, including rayon chenille scarves and shawls, fleece and silk-lined hats, tensile scarves, and elegant wraps. Moses also runs the Vermont Weaving School, teaching students the joy and art of weaving. Another interesting stop on the craft tour is to Green Mountain Spinnery, a cooperatively owned mill that's been creating richly colored yarns made from the highest quality U.S. sourced fibers for over 35 years. Green Mountain Spinnery invites you in to experience small batch custom lot processing, and I found it so interesting to watch their impressive mill in action.
Green Mountain Spinnery also invites you in to experience their unique certified organic processing methods that have made them a reliable resource for farmers, weavers, knitters, and crafters of all kinds. You can also stop into their yarn shop to choose from a wide selection of richly colored all natural blends of yarn, as well as over 200 patterns and samples. Exquisite sculptural pottery and breathtaking paintings are another popular draw to the tour. There are four potters and four painters participating in the Putney Craft Tour. Our next stop is to sculptural potter Ken Pick, who's been part of the Putney Craft Tour since the very beginning. Walking into Ken Pick's studio gallery, you'll be struck by the dynamic forms and exciting bold glazed colors that contrast with the earthiness of the unglazed clay. Ken Pick has been making high-fired, colorful stoneware pottery for over 45 years. We saw some one-of-a-kind art pieces on display today, such as massive wall platters, serving bowls, vases, benches, and stools. Now we're off to David Mischke's studio, where he's been making and selling decorated functional pottery since the early 70s. All the pots are hand thrown on a potter's wheel and possess a wonderful sense of balance. The pots are created with the intention of being used and enjoyed on a daily basis and range from simple mugs to elaborately decorated vessels. I love the contrast of the vibrant blue interior glaze and the delicate hand and size designs. Our next stop on the Putney Craft Tour is to Nancy Calicchio's studio, an oil painter inspired by the transformation in the Vermont landscape. The artist finds a fresh approach to our rich natural environment through painting. Her gorgeous Vermont landscapes are inspired by the play of light on trees and rivers, fields and farms, the progressive change of colors within each season, and the fascinating transition from one season to the next. Another fun and interesting stop on the tour is to Vermont Farmer Art, where Phil Pellerin thrives on taking what other people consider junk and making something beautiful and functional out of it. The artist collects his materials from farm junkyards, scrapyards, woodlands, repair shops, recycling centers, and riverbeds, and uses these materials to make art lamps, tables, human form sculpture, mailboxes, gates, bar stools, and much more one-of-a-kind art. Some call it junk art, but around here, they call it Vermont farmer art. Some local restaurants are also offering Putney Craft Tour specials, so we had to stop into Katie's restaurant where they're all about the food. Here at Katie's, they offer signature inspired dishes like North Atlantic salmon, Vermont grass-fed beef, and gluten-free vegetarian meals, such as this grilled vegetable panini. You can also stop in for a glass of house-made sangria or a homemade dessert. Parish Hill Creamery is a family endeavor with over 35 years of cheese making experience. Peter, Rachel, and Alex make cheese traditionally using old world methods and only the finest ingredients sourced right up the road at the Elmlea Farm. 
During the Putney Craft Tour, you'll get a chance to taste and purchase seasonal handmade raw milk Italian cheese at its very best and learn all about the art of making cheese by hand. Our final stop on the Putney Craft Tour is to Putney Mountain Winery to taste and experience their award-winning artisanal fruit wines, liqueurs, and sparkling ciders. Since 1998, Putney Mountain Winery has handcrafted their beverages from the bounty of fruit grown locally in southern Vermont, ensuring the creation of wine that reflects the local terroir. Visit the winery and tasting room to sample artisanal beverages of complexity and finesse, such as Vermont Pear, Simply Cranberry, Rhubarb Blush, Vermont Cassis, as well as Simply Ginger and Simply Maple Liqueurs. The winery is located inside of Baskerville and is sure to be a refreshing stop on the Putney Craft Tour. Thanks for watching our Valley Buzz event coverage of the 39th annual Putney Craft Tour. We hope this has inspired you to get out and experience all that the Putney Craft Tour has to offer and to support some of Vermont's local artists. You can learn more about the Putney Craft Tour by visiting PutneyCrafts.com. I'm your host, Rebecca Duncan, bringing you the buzz of the Valley on Vermont Television Network. We'll see you next time.